Welcome back to Screaming at the Windshield. That's right, Screaming at the Windshield. We're heading up to Minneapolis. We're going through a small town today. I think you've seen some of the country roads we were traveling on. And uh, <laughs> um, right now, Lena, Illinois. Lena, L-E-N-A. Lena, Illinois. It's one of the best small towns ever on the planet. Uh, it's got a couple thousand people. It's got four parks. It's got a great pool. It's got three golf courses. This place is totally into people living right. It's an awesome place. It's got seven churches. I know this town pretty intimately. I lived close to it for a while. And obviously driving through Lena, Illinois, uh, one of the biggest things that was here for the longest time is they have a water tower that was built like 170 years ago. It still stands there right now. Uh, they stopped using it back in 2007. But up till then, they used that for like 130 years. Water towers at the time was like a modern marvel back when everyone else was still having horses and carriages and you had to pump water by hand or walk to the stream. So Lena, Illinois, they have an awesome little state park too called Le Aquina. It's got a nice little lake there that's horseback riding. It's got everything you'd ever want. So come on out to Lena, Illinois. Yes, I'm wearing a black hat. You can't believe it, but yes, I do wear hats once in a while. This one's awesome. I just got out of Cleek Family Farms. We got some eggs. We ordered some chickens. It's a phenomenal place. Great family. Just so you know, it's lovely. Now we're uh, on our next leg of the journey, which is Minneapolis. All right, we're having fun. Beautiful day to travel, but we're singing, singing right now. So it's singing at the windshield. My beautiful girlfriend, Terry, and I have been singing a couple songs. We're gonna give you one of my favorites from the 70s. Or maybe it was 80. I can't remember, 1980, 79, something like that. Lionel Richie. My love. My love. <laughs> and there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. My first love. Just be Oh, 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 oh. 
We are just getting on to the highway, the interstate, finally. After a couple of hours of wonderful back roads, dirt roads, gravel roads, I'm telling you right now, life is good, life is sweet. So, I'm telling you, the first thing is we are now in Wisconsin Dells. What is Wisconsin Dells, you say? It's nowhere in the world except it has everything. It's oh, got come the on, ducks. Man. What are ducks? Ducks are like cars that drive into the water and drive back out. It's got Tommy Bartlett Water Show. What is Tommy Bartlett Water Show? It's a bunch of skiers doing a bunch of ski things. It's got Paul Bunyan's Log Cabin Restaurant. What is that? I'm telling you right now, it's got huge flapjacks. It's got Kalahari Hotel. What does that mean? Water park. It's got a water park in it. It's like a huge, massive water park. It's got I don't know, 30 slides, a bunch of other things. It's got six different pools. It's got a whole bunch of other things going on besides that. You can spend half the day just goofing around on one thing after the other. There's Dunkin' Donuts. And they have Dunkin' Donuts. That's right, Dunkin' Donuts is at Wisconsin Dells. Now, just in case you didn't know, people from Chicago go to Wisconsin Dells all the time. It's about an hour and a half away, two hours max from Chicago. They drive up, they spend a weekend or maybe a week, they spend a whole lot of money, it's a tourist trap. They get signs carved with their names in it or they do all sorts of crazy things, t-shirts. And uh, guess what? Wisconsin Dells is a tourist trap that I love. It's fantastic. So next time you get in Wisconsin, you're driving on 90, get off the Wisconsin Dells, check it out. So, just so you know, a uh, fun fact of Minneapolis. There used to be a bigger city next to it called Maxiapolis. <laughs> but Maxiapolis had some political problems, so they got rid of that city completely. They outlawed it, and they went to the smaller city of Minneapolis. And they actually made St. Paul, the city right next to it, into the uh, largeness that they needed without changing the mini to a maxi. Just so you know. Didn't know if you knew that as a fact or not, but you know it's true. Uh, we're just about to cross the Mississippi River up in the Minneapolis area here. Going from Wisconsin to Minnesota. Anyways, just thought I'd let you know we're in town now. Across the border, actually St. Paul, we're going to be in Minneapolis in just a couple minutes. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the, the show. I hope you enjoy this clip, this podcast. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's been a total blast. It's been a beautiful day, great weather, fantastic traffic, it's been decent. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to seeing all that Minneapolis has for me. God bless, subscribe. Ring the bell, make a notification. If you live in or have ever been in Minneapolis, make a comment. If you've never been here, I want to hear your comment about when you're getting here. There's only two kinds of people. People that live in Minneapolis and everyone else trying to get there. All right. Hasta la vista for now. God bless. Take care and ciao.